Hello classy people, how y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden, I'm your speed king. Of course, as always, turn on your closed capture. And of course, our tip sheets are available for the Oakland Park race coming up on Saturday, the 2nd of April. It is the Arkansas Derby and of course the Fantasy States for the girls, uh, you know, their Kentucky Oaks Dream in. So please email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com to get your very own tip sheet. It supports our channel and community. Uh, 15 bucks, we pour all the money back in, you know the deal, subscribe, ring the bell, do those things, and I'm here for Sunland Park. Well, it's actually Tuesday evening, waiting to get more uh, data for some more stake races this weekend, but again, one of my stable horses are running, and they're running, running down at Sunland Park, and a shout out to Mr. Paco down there, and Mr. Lopez, and of course Jarvis. We got a lot of fans, folks, that watch this channel uh, down in Sunland Park, and they email me each and every day, and I've kind of grown, uh, kind of, um, you know, I've kind of grown fond of Sunland Park, to be quite honest with you, and nothing has changed on Saturday. There's one of my old-timers down there, you know, like the rated R superstar. Well, Zestful's down there. That's the son of Ghost Zappa. He's an old-timer. I wish I could wear my old-timer shirt, but he's the son of Ghost Zappa, right? And Zestful is in the 11th race at Sunland Park on Saturday. I know it's a big day out there in Oakland, but I mean, how could I not follow my horse, right? This is the fan part of me in here, right? And Zestful is seven years old by uh, Ghost Zapper, of course. And my other old time in the race is Sheriff Brown, Sheriff John Brown, the expert, the number eight horse. So it's the Sunland Handicap race number 11. It's with three-year-olds and up there going a flat mile and an eighth. That's right for $100,000. This is going to be a fun race for me because my stable horses are in here. This is the fan part of me, right? So, you know. And again, the horse that I'm looking to play in here, of course, is Zestful. Zestful's the number five horse. He has 40 starts. No, no, you didn't. I'm telling you the old timer's back on the scene like my other old timer rated R superstar. Well, Zestful has 12 starts. 12 wins, 8 seconds, and 7 thirds from 40 starts. This here Kentucky bred Ghost Zappa 7 year old just keeps showing up. And uh, Holmes is our trainer. Hernandez is in the arms. And I tell you, he's fast, but he might have lost a step or two like all of us old timers. But he just keeps running his heart out zestful. He's the number 5. He's 4 to 1. Love that price. And his ne 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 nemesis is in the race. The number four horse. Mind that star. This horse is fast too. The number four. Mind that star. And he's always pestering. Zestful. Can I get a clear lead? I cannot. Because mind that star is a youngster. He's only five years old. And he's got ten starts and five wins. No, you didn't. Yeah, the number four horse in the Sunland Park Handicap, the number four horse, Mind That Star, by Pioneer of the Nile, on the back end by Smart. Smart Strike has only ten starts, and five of them are wins, one second and one third, and clearly the horse to beat. And it's that lady, Nancy Summers, doing the signal calling from the trainer's booth. She's done a beautiful, beautiful job, Miss Nancy Summers, with this Mind That Star, pestering my zestful horse all the time on the front end. Five to two on the morning line, the number four. Clearly the horse to beat in here. The youngsters trying to uh, use their youth against the old timers. But we, of course, like the number five zestful. Maybe we could shit clear from that mind, that star horse. So our top play is going to be the number five zestful. And then our second play in the race equally, we're going to use them equally, is the number eight horse. Here's another old timer. Well, he's kind of young compared to, you know, zestful. He's only six, and I love Sheriff Brown. Sheriff John Brown went downtown. The number eight horse has 24 starts, six wins, five seconds, and four thirds. The horse is by Curl, and no, you didn't. We know Curlin should have won the Derby for Asmussen. But the number eight, just like Zestful, one of my old timers. I love this horse, Sheriff Brown. I love the name. And guess who's doing the signal calling from the trainer's booth? That's right. It's Mr. Todd Fincher. That's that legendary trainer down there. He might be Billy, Billy Modish on Sunland Park's turf. 
down there. I mean, he's a great trainer. He's clicking at 24%. Is it 24%? Yeah, down there. And uh, Mr. Fincher, Todd Fincher, man, I'm telling you, you go down there, you better find out where his horses are because they can run. Well, Sheriff Brown, I said one six of 24, came off of a long layoff, 160 plus days on uh, March 5th, and now it's coming back off of 24 uh, days, 28 days rest, and should be a lot tighter. Now, you won't find Sheriff Brown with a search warrant when the gate opens. He's going to be dead last, but the old man, well, not so old. He's only six. He's like a youngster. He's going to be picking them up, laying them down, and I love the price on Mr. Sheriff Brown. That's right. He's eight, He's six to one, the number eight horse. So, again, in the Sunland Park, uh, handicap, Mr. Perez and Lopez down there, Mr. Paco. Hey, listen, you know I'm going to, I love Zestful, the number five horse. This is to be my top pick. And our second pick is going to be the number eight horse, Sheriff Brown. So, we like 5885 with a very, very, very clear understanding. The horse to beat in this race uh, is going to be the horse they're going to play, the number four horse, the youngster. Mind that star. That's fine. Okay? We're going to smack that youngster around a little bit. He would be our third pick for sure. So, again, in the uh, Sunland Park handicap, uh, we could run through the rest of them, but we don't really care about them. The number one horse convention, he's always showing up. You can use him underneath. He's only three to one. We don't care about him. The number two, Magic Moscow, he just looks totally overmatched here. The number three horse, San Diego's Tower, he looks overmatched here. We talked about the number four, Mind That Star. He's the one to beat. He's, you know, he's a nice horse, right? But we're going to try to get around him. And our top pick is the number five zestful at four to one i love that price on the old man y'all better not let the son of go sapper shake loose i like this old horse i would love to see zestful seven years old run against rated r superstar right and the rated r superstar finally is a graded winner so he'd be like strutting his stuff right he's nine and uh again we like the number five zestful. And the number six horse Sly, he's a kind of old timer. He's not bad. I would use the six underneath. The number seven, uh, McIntyre, well, we don't care about him, but don't go to sleep on the number seven, McIntyre, eight to one. He has won two in a row. He's riding a two game winning streak, and his speed figures ain't nothing to sneeze at. So the number seven, y'all better pay close attention. This horse is six years old, five years old, one four from the 18. I'm telling you right now, the number seven, McIntyre, can flat out run. Don't leave him out of your exactors or tries. And the number eight, there's my other horse, Sheriff John Brown, the expert. I like him. He had been away a long, long time. Finally got a race, a tightener under his belt, March 5th. Coming back, second race off the layoff. I expect him to be picking it up and laying it down and arresting somebody down the lane, Sheriff Brown. I like the number eight horse. I get excited. This is the fan in me, not the handicapper. This is the fan in me, right? And Sheriff Brown is one of my uh, top horses and old horses. And the last horse, Lamb and Knight. Well, Lamanite is a six-year-old, 28 stars, six wins, three seconds, and five-thirds. Not a bad horse. Coming off of a, um, a long, long layoff. Should be fresh. Should be fit by Lemon Drop Kid. Okay, so use Lamanite underneath in your tries and exactus. So for sure, use the seven and the nine underneath. So there it is in your Sunland Park handicap. I couldn't help myself. I don't have no data for anything else. And I know when Zestful's running, of course... The number five, and of course, Sheriff John Brown. I just put the John in there. His name is Sheriff Brown, but I put Sheriff John Brown referencing Bob Marley's uh, rec record, of course. So we like 5885. We're going to try to spank the youngster, the number four horse, who's clearly the horse to beat, folks. The number four, uh, uh, more, uh, uh, Mind That Star. Zestful's getting a little long in the tooth over here, but I think the son of Ghost Zapper got one more good one or two in him. So we like 5885 eight, here. Zestful and Sheriff Brown with the understanding you have to, have to use the number four horse in the wind slot if you're serious about catching a ticket here. And underneath, please do not leave the seven and nine. 
uh, McIntyre and Laminite off the ticket. So there it is in the Sunland Park for all of our guys and gals down there at beautiful New Mexico. Mr. Paco and Mr. Lopez and of course Jarvis, he's my my guy, he texts and emails me almost each and every day, so we really appreciate him. Hey, guys, we're going to lean with our stable horses, Zestful and Sheriff John Brown. Let me know what y'all like. Stay classy. And, of course, if the people go low on you down there in New Mexico, y'all keep it 100. You keep it classy. Y'all go high, as always. Zestful, the son of Ghost Zapper, and Sheriff John Brown, the number eight horse. We got four to one and eight to one. We're not mad at y'all. We like it a whole bunch. Stay classy, y'all. The Speed King's having some fun with his stable horses.